Hi everyone and thanks for attending my presentation of the work to demystify the power and performance bottlenecks in autonomous driving systems. I am Pedro Becker and I'm with the Universitat Politecnica de Catalunya. The autonomous vehicles technology can change the world for better. I'd like to take a minute to talk about some of their benefits as they are key for the traffic of the future. That is safer, with no license requirements, which is much more inclusive since everyone can use it. Also, hopefully with no traffic jam or less traffic jam due to the accurate driving skills of the computers. We'll also have more free time while traveling, which we can use to work or even better, to sleep. And boring tasks such as finding a parking spot will be in the past, together with the 13 steps to do so as suggested by WikiHow. However, even if we want to buy a fully self-driving car, we can't, because they're still not for sale. Why so? What happens is that autonomous vehicles have a large set of tasks to perform and they must perform them very, very well. Industry and researchers are still trying to guarantee that this happens 100% of the time or the closest that we can get to that. For example, autonomous vehicles must localize themselves and also identify other objects such as cars and pedestrians. Then they have to track these objects and stipulate their routes. Only after that, our autonomous vehicles can choose a safe lane to drive by. All of this must be decided in a tenth of a second and without requiring much power so it doesn't overhead the vehicle driving autonomy. In summary, they need high performance and energy efficiency despite the system complexity. And this is a still work in progress. In this work, we quantify an autonomous vehicle system, investigating possible bottlenecks and points of improvement, while we try to answer questions such as which tasks take most of the time to finish, what is the hardware utilization, and what is the power dissipation on this hardware. We do our experimentation with AutoWare, which is a complete software stack for autonomous driving. It is an open source project and also qualified to be used in public roads in Japan. We then submit AutoWare to profiling tools to characterize and analyze it. Some of our findings include the following. In many cases, the system does not meet the time deadlines, indicating the need for improvement in either algorithms or hardware platforms. Also, changing the vision detection neural network can cause considerable performance speedups and power dissipation reductions. Lander-based algorithms sums up considerable latency times and should be object of improvement, although most of the current efforts rely on improving only image-based detectors. Finally, we show that measuring the nodes when running out together is more accurate than measuring them in isolation. In time, I would like to invite you to read our paper and watch our full presentation to get more details of our work. Once again, thanks for your attention.